today we will discuss the carbohydrates and the definition of carbohydrates chemistry of carbohydrates and its different isomers which defines its different forms of carbohydrates in space and its configuration in space which is defined as carbohydrate isomerism and different structure of carbohydrates with reference to its carbonyl group which is attached at different structures of the carbon atom of a carbohydrate molecule carbohydrates are defined as the polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones or substances that yield such compounds on hydrolysis this is the simplest structure of a carbohydrates which is known as glyceraldehyde and it is an aldo tri triose we will discuss in detail the what is the aldo means and what is the triose it has a straight chain structure having three carbon groups and a carbonyl group is attached which is displayed here on the one end of the carbohydrate molecule in the second group this is an isomer which is known as dihydroxyacetone the difference between dihydroxyacetone and glyceraldehyde is only this functional group which is attached with the double bond in the middle or second carbon atom of this three structure carbohydrate many but all carbohydrates have the empirical formula of ch2o into n but this has the exceptions also and some carbohydrates also contain nitrogen phosphorus and other groups the classification of carbohydrates carbohydrates can be classified into four major groups monosaccharides disaccharides oligosaccharides and polysaccharides but there are differences in different books some books define as three groups one is monosaccharide and the second is oligosaccharide which is subdivided into or subclass is grouped as disaccharide and the third is the polysaccharide but it can be classified as both of the types as four subclasses and three classes of the carbohydrates first is the monosaccharides monosaccharides are also known as simple sugars those which cannot be hydrolyzed further into simpler forms so it is this simple simplest sugar which have only one molecule and it can not be further hydrolyzed or further broken down into into further atoms or further molecules the backbone of this common monosaccharides are unbranched the of carbon composed of carbon atoms carbon atoms ke sath jo jude hote hain ek dusre ke sath single carbon bond ke sath ye banate hain iski backbone jabke double bond jo hai wo attach hota hai on the functional group which is known as carbonyl group in the open chain form one of the carbon atoms is double bonded to an oxygen atom to form a carbonyl group this is the carbonyl group as we have already discussed in the last slide but the remaining carbon atoms are attached with single bond which form the backbone of the monosaccharide molecule this is the structure of d glucose and it is an aldo hexose why it is aldo and why it is called hexose we will define it later on in the next slide and similar is the case in the case of d fructose where this carbonyl group is attached with in the second carbon and this this remaining is the same single bonded chain or backbone of the carbon atoms each of the other carbon atoms has a hydroxyl group that's why these are called polyhydroxy alcohols or 
polyhydroxy compounds having aldo or keto group. This is an aldo group and this is a keto group in case of fructose. If the carbonyl group is at the end of the carbonyl chain that is an aldehyde group. The monosaccharide is called an aldose and this is the structure of an aldose. This R is denoted as the long chain of carbon and if this carbonyl group is attached on one end of the this long chain this is called as aldehyde group and if this double bonded oxygen attached with the carbon in the middle of the two or any other position except the end of the molecule it is known as keto group if the carbonyl group is at at any other position in a in a ketone group the monosaccharide is called a ketose so this is the difference between an aldehyde group and keto group the these sugars which is which are having aldehyde group are called aldo sugars or jinke saath keto group laga hota hai wo kehlati hain keto sugars the simplest monosaccharides are the two three carbon trioses one is known as glyceraldehyde which is an aldo sugar or aldo triose this is known as aldo because it is having this functional group carbonyl on the one end of the chain this is a three carbon compound iske ek end pe agar aldo group laga hua hai so it is known as aldo sugar or triose this is known as triose because it is having three carbon atoms the its isomer which will define later on in the next module if this carbonyl group which is having a double bond is on the middle of this three carbon chain this is known as keto group so the name is changed to dihydroxyacetone and this is a keto triose keto isliye kehlati hai ki isme keto group hai और ट्राइगोज इसलिए है कि इसमें तीन कार्बन्स अवेलेबल है द कार्बन्स ऑफ ए शुगर आर नंबर्ड बिगनिंग एट द एंड ऑफ द चेन नियरस्ट द कार्बोनाइल ग्रुप जिस वक्त हम इसको नंबरिंग करते हैं कार्बन एटम्स की तो जहां पे कार्बोनाइल ग्रुप अटैच है उसको हम नंबर वन कार्बन कहते हैं और उससे नेक्स्ट जो है टू थ्री फोर एंड सो ऑन सो दिस इज द type of or the reason of numbering or the system of numbering of carbon atoms all monosaccharides and disaccharides have the name ending with the suffix ose which is ose but this is not a generalization but there are some exceptions for example we have discussed in the last slide the glyceraldehyde which is a aldo sugar which is a monosaccharide but having not the o's at its end similarly if in the name of an aldol sugar ul is added into the name of the corresponding aldos for example ribose ribose is a aldo sugar if we put a ul inside the name of the ribose which is a aldo sugar it is converted into ribulose which denotes that it is a keto sugar so the aldose is converted into ribulose by by addition of a keto group inside the or in the second or third position or any position carbonyl group from the except the first position on and this if it contains five shoe carbon atoms it is known as pentose corresponding to the aldo pentose which is known as ribose there are few exceptions however for example the fructose and dihydroxy 
acetone as we have discussed earlier the fructose is a keto sugar but it is it has not an insertion of ul and similarly dihydroxy acetone is also a keto sugar lekin is mein bhi ul add nahi kiya hua monosaccharides can be subdivided further depending upon the number of carbon atoms or they are also subdivided whether the aldehydes are having a ketone or a aldol group if these have aldose sugar these are called aldoses and if they have a keto group they are called ketoses this is the tabulated form of different division of the carbohydrates triosis having the three carbon and its aldo sugar which is having the aldehyde group is glyceraldehyde while its keto sugar is known as dihydroxy acetone similarly tetroses have four carbons its aldo sugar is erythrose and we put a ul in the middle of the ethrose it is known as erythrolose and it is a tetrose similar is case with the pentoses pentoses have five carbons and its aldol sugar having a carbonyl group on one end is ribose and it is name is converted into ribolose in case of keto sugar hexose is another other example which is the most common sugar which is known as glucose and its keto sugar is known as fructose glucose is having carbonyl group at one end while fructose have carbonyl group at the second atom the hexoses which include the aldohexose d glucose and ketohexose d fructose are the most common monosaccharides occurring in nature d glucose as we have discussed is having a aldol group and this is having a keto group glucose is present in most of in our body and in most of the plants and in glycogen starch while fructose is present in large quantity in fruits the aldopentoses the d ribose and 2 deoxy ribose are components of nucleotides and nucleic acid the difference between the d ribose and 2 d oxy d ribose is both are having the aldo group that is the carbon carbonyl group at one end but at carbon atom number 2 this the hydroxyl group or oxygen is not present so it is the d oxy ribose the d ribose is present in rna while the oxy ribose is present in a molecule of dna